Hey guys, I'm Matt's Creative. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to Linux, or you're a beginner here. This video is made for you. It's not paid for the elitists because they already know everything they need to know. They tend to pick on people. If you run into one of these, ignore them. They're basic Reddit users. Their opinions don't matter. Okay, unless they're the helpful kind, which try to pass experience on to you. And cool, as long as they're helping. Now, this is Fedora or Nabora. Nabora is made from Fedora. There's also Ultramarine. It's very complicated. You choose your own distro, but this should apply to all of them. Today, as you can see by the uh, title, we're dealing with basic system maintenance. In other words, checking for updates without actually, you know, um, installing them. We're going to be checking history, DNF history lists, so transaction IDs, DNF auto remove. DNF upgrade slash best slash allow erasing, which you don't want to do uh, at all because that's a bad command for most cases, just like skip broken and DNF distro sync. Okay. So, first, we're going to first one we're going to handle is, of course, sudo DNF check update. So, let's run over this. sudo gives you administrator privileges, DNF is the package manager, and check update allows you to see updates without downloading or installing them. So we're going to do that. And as you can see, we have one thing that we need to upload update. Okay. Now, because we're on Nabora, we don't use the normal way of updating. There's an update package. It's right here. It's called update system. That is what you would use. But for normal Fedora, I already have a video on that. You can go check that out. Now we're going to try, we're going to hit control L to clear, and we're going to do sudo DNF history and missing command really list so there you go so this is the amount of stuff that i've done since i've installed this i've installed zen browser i've removed speed test rs i've installed obs studio i've installed the kde desktop speed test speed test cl li and so on and so forth and yada 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 there we go there's a lot of stuff okay and then there's act mods as well all right now each one of these, I believe, has a transaction ID. I just don't know where it is in this list, which is annoying. But yeah, the ID is right here, actually. So you can, of course, remove things, I think, according to the ID, but I don't really have a big thing on that. Anyway, it's very helpful to know what you have installed, what you installed first. It shows you everything. Next command is sudo dnf auto remove. This will auto remove outdated packages that are no longer needed. So let's see what happens. Oh, so you wish to die. Interesting. No, I'm not going to actually be removing anything today. I don't feel like it. So the next one is sudo dnf upgrade and then best and then allow erasing here's the thing allow erasing is something i do not recommend if a file is getting in your way remove it temporarily and then reinstall it afterwards allowing for the best to install can be a good thing sometimes but again i don't recommend it just remove the old version okay and install the new version what does this even do for me oh no because I'm on Nabora and we have an updater that will handle that already. Now, the next command that we have is sudo dnf distro sync. My bad. So, what this allows you to do is it synchronizes all installed packages to the version available in the repositories. So, once again, it's going to give you the newest versions of everything that needs to be done. See that? There is a lot. It's going to be downgrading stuff and blah, blah, blah. Again, if you're on Nabora, do not do this. So we're going to clear this. But if you are on Fedora, feel free. That is something you are able to do. Now, I hope I made this simple enough. I hope I've clarified enough about this stuff. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it helped. And if it did, subscribe, like this video, share this video. We have membership here on YouTube. You can join if you want to help me out. We have Ko-Fi if you want to donate to me. It's up to you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't be a Reddit user. Make proper formed opinions with research.
lots and lots of research.